Yo, what's up guys, Kadizu72 here, back with another Pokemon Expanded deck video today. I'll take a look at Ice Rider, uh, Calyrex VMAX, so last video I looked at uh, Shadow Rider, and now Partner in Crime, Ice Rider, VMAX, um, really good. Um, Max Lance is what we're going to be using as our main attacker. Um, you have to discard 2 energy from this Pokemon, but it does basically 250 damage, and then you have to discard 2 energy. Which is not too bad. Um, it, this deck is really consistent at getting two energy each turn, doing this attack over and over again, retreating, healing, all that. But before we get into the video, if you guys are looking to buy some Pokemon codes, make sure you guys head to buyptcgocodes.com. Use my code Keldio for five percent off on purchases purchases on the website. Uh, link will be in the in the description. Um, so yeah, we also got the Keldio Duo in this deck. Let's go. We got Keldio EX, which is really good. For just switching, um, if it's on the bench, you can switch it with your active Pokemon, and then so basically you put a float, and then whoever's in your active, you can retreat to any other Pokemon on 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 your floor using Keldeo. Uh, we got the other Keldeo for um, basically blocking attacks from GX and EXs, you know, um, Mewtwo Mews, um, Picaroms, whatever. Um, Keldeo GX is is pretty good for blocking attacks. Um, it's kind of nifty GX if your opponent is using like a Sky Foot or something with like Eternus, but yeah. Um, so we got a 3 3 line. Uh, the other attacks don't do too much. I mean, um, Rider the High King can do a little bit amount. Um, we got a Ice Rider as well, or we got a three of these of the normal of these. Um, these attacks aren't too great. Um, I'm not, yeah, I mean, uh, this, this attack, actually, Sonic Edge, can be used, um, you know, isn't affected by any effects, which could be used for a variety of things. Um, but we also got uh, some, some you know, support cards, including Crobat, Tanene, Tapu, one copy of each, and then onto the items, we got Aqua Patches, so these are really good, um, just for making sure we get two energy attached to Pokemon per turn, got four of them, of course. Um, you do have to be do you, you do have to have a, a energy in the discard for um, to use it But that's why we, that's why we have a battle compressor, you know discarding maybe a supporter you want to be a seeker or um, an energy um, It's pretty good. Um, we also got one computer search. Of course. We got four dive balls um, Which is really good because we have a bunch of Pokemon and it can actually search any water including an evolution uh, We also got one fuel blower um, one great catcher, um, not too bad for you know, um, great catching those V or those GXs tag teams because we actually can one one hit in ADP. Uh, we do 250, but we also play one choice band in this deck to make it 280, which is one hitting um, all GXs. Um, so uh, we've got two max potions. Um, you know, when we when we do this attack, we discard all energy. So. We have no energy on this guy after we after we use the attack. So, if our opponent hits for, for for a lot of damage, then you know we can heal all that and then you know just keep retreating with Keldeo. <laughs> um, I'll actually point out Ace Roll, which is basically the same thing, but a supporter. Um, you could put um, damage counters, Pokemon with damage counters, and put um, all cards in your hand again, which is good if you don't have like a float or if an ability shuts down your Keldeo, then you can just it's basically like a free retreat if you need to. Um, but yeah, we're playing one rescue, three trainers males. We do play a decent amount of trainers in this deck. Um, two ultra balls, um, four via seekers, really good. Uh, two Viridian Force. So these actually, if you play, you discard a card from your hand, you know, you could search an energy and then it, it searches an energy and then you could discard an energy at the same time and uh, use an aqua patch. So pretty nifty. Uh, we got one Guzma, a uh, new card, Melanie. Um, you could attach it water energy from the discard pile to one of your v's and then draw three cards so not too bad man not too bad uh, we, we're playing one end and then three sycamore of course uh already mentioned choice band and then uh, we got three floats in this deck just for caldeo any other way we just want to make sure we get the retreat off um each turn and then finally we got 10 energy so that's gonna wrap up uh the introduction let's get on to the battles all right, going into the first game of the day, um, I will choose to go first, um, definitely because on my second turn I can, you know, do 250 with um, with Ice Rider V Max, which is definitely the goal of each round. But I do got my 
double Keldia start. Love to see. And I do have a float as well. I can dive ball, get the Ice Rider, attach energy, and then that will be all good. Maybe use this guy to, you know, just um, just block attacks, maybe. Possibly. So we're looking at a, at a Haunch Grow matchup, which I feel like gives me a decent advantage. Um, yeah, decent advantage. I mean, I do have Keldio. So at this point, like, do I even need to put this guy down? That's the question. Prevent. I mean, he could he could sign a lab. Yeah, he he could sign a lab. Um, I think I play like one field lord, but like if I just set this guy up, then I I can just you know win. Um, but I will use this guy to block attacks in the meantime if possible. Um, I mean, he could just easily field lord. He's probably playing one, which I mean, if if I if I kept this float, I mean that that'd be dope. You know, um, just I could retreat anytime I want, but it's probably not gonna happen. But I'm still pre I'm still feeling pretty confident because I'm I only play basic energies, and the only you know item I use is or a tool I use is basically float. Um, but yeah, he, he definitely wants <laughs> he definitely wants that sign lab right now, and um, he will get it. He'll get uh, two of them. I mean, I'm definitely gonna end. Um, I mean, it would be awkward if he did on fair GX this turn because I mean that's just my end and be a seeker gun, which it looks like he will do, or he's gonna Marnie first, which is probably worse. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's probably worse, but we'll see. Um, okay, well, he's gonna do, he's gonna do Field Blower and then probably Ice Rider. I do have another energy, um, but I can't really do much done, so I feel like for him, it's, it's both of these guys. Um, I mean, he, he could leave this guy, who knows, who knows, but, yeah, if I top deck, like, an energy that way, then... I, you know, I could do the 250 damage right there. Um, and and, and it's uh, it just, you know, one shot away. But, like, he definitely needs to get rid of the field board. Because I think that's only what I play. So, I mean, the Silent Lab is going to stay for the rest of the game. Which uh, kind of sucks. <laughs> he's, he's debating, man. He's, he's going to go for the energy instead. See, like, I have Aqua Patch, man. I do have Aqua Patch. Um... So, I mean, that that's... I feel like he should have got, got on the dude. I mean, he doesn't know what I'm playing, but... Yeah. Interesting. I will probably just discard another energy, honestly. I want them in my discard. Um, Probably Sycamore. You know, if I get a Via Seeker, but... Like, I'm in top deck mode at this point. Yes, I, I have no more Field Blowers. I can't get rid of his Stadium. Uh, what else do I need to do, though? I mean, I guess Grey Catcher. Right? Uh, yeah, probably won't be... Too great. I, I guess the is because I, I can't use them. Um, so I'll just evolve and then uh, just pass until I get a good hand, really. I mean, I can stall for a little bit, I guess. But yeah, this this, this could take a while. Um, but I, like, I just need a few energy and I'll, I'll be fine. Just need a few energy. But it would be uh, awkward if he, if he started using um, what what's his name? The, the dude that discards energy and then you have to discard two in your hand. So, I mean, if he did that, that'd kind of be a problem. He's got a boss, though. But what do you, what do you, uh, what do you want to even want to use it? Yeah, he's not going to use it. He's not going to use it. Okay. Um, you know, I should probably max potion. I mean, stall a bit, bit more longer, I guess. You know, I don't have to worry about another unfair GX, so. Um, yeah, I'm just, just waiting at this point, man. But he does have that boss. Does have that boss. Gotta be a little bit worried about that. Because, like, what if he just, like, risked it? Oh, uh, so he, he's got a team for a grunt, but... I mean, yeah, he, he's gonna have to, like... So he's gonna boss me out first. Okay. Um, so if I just top deck something, then I'd win the game. Nope. Nope. Not yet. So he's going to Team Flare Grunt. Which kind of sucks, man. I already used my Max Potion. So, I mean... <laughs> that was a risky play, man. But, um... I guess it paid off for him. Okay. Oh, now now there's an energy. Now there's an energy. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, my God. Um... I'll just put on my bench. That's That's kind of annoying, man. I mean... Yeah, I just, like, I have, I play four Via Seekers, dude. Play Melanie as well. Just, just give me something, man. 
He's still can't one hit me right here. But he's doing a lot of bench damage, dude. Another Ice Rider, man. Alright, can I... Like, come on, man. How have I not top deck anything at this point? Like, really? Kyrie can take one more hit, though, but... Alright. Surprised he hasn't gone for another Merc on the bench. Alright, just, just give me something here, man. I swear to God. Well, there's a Melanie. And I, and I draw three cards as well, and I could retreat, so I just need my Ice Rider, like a Rescue or something. Um, Yeah, I can Ultra Ball, get my dude, and that will be a wrap. Guess it doesn't really matter what I do at this point. There we go. So, yeah, like, Vivid Voltage Pack. Every time, it's it's Vivid Voltage, but, yeah, like, I'm really surprised he didn't, he didn't sub another guy, man, because I was just, like, it, it, was, it was a matter of time before I got something in my deck, man. Like, I had, I just have, like, I discard that support. I had plenty of view seekers, you know, plenty of energy, plenty of dudes. So, yeah. All right, going into another game. I will start first. Yep. Yeah, do that. I will definitely put this guy down. I have a Melanie and an Aqua Patch. Nothing in the Discord, though, so that makes it kind of awkward. If I got an Ultra Ball, that'd be, that'd be perfect. I mean, I can't use the supporter on my first turn anyways, but... So, look, looks like we're playing ADP... Zassy and Bronzong. All right, well, this should be fun. Okay, I have a, I have a lot of important stuff in my hand, which I and I, I can't even use any of it. All right. Well, I'm waiting to metal, um, so that's not ideal. Uh, I mean, I, I'd like I'd I'd one hit a Zassy in anyways, but I mean, yeah, it's not great if a Zassy one hits a a V Max, dude. So that's not that's not a good trade, especially if this guy ADPs dude on his first turn. Uh, but I actually can't one hit an ADP though. Um, I can do exactly 280 damage if I get my one choice ban. Um, that's yeah, that's that wouldn't be uh, that wouldn't be easy. That would not be easy. So homie's got another Denny on the bench, but I could definitely win this game. Definitely win this game. Um, right here though, I could just attach another energy and probably end. Depending on how much stuff this guy has in his hand. Alright, so is he going to get an ADP or like a Crobat or something? He's still got a supporter to use. Um, so like maybe an ADP, he's got like a support in his hand. Juniper. I'm assuming. Yep. Okay. So he just needs one energy now. I kind of hope he, he, he will um, just do that so I can try to pull off my play. Um... Yeah, so he will do it. I mean, like, he's getting four... This guy's getting four prize cards, though, in just one hit, which isn't great. Um, yeah, I can't Aqua Patch. I mean, I just have to, like, end. Like, I could Sycamore. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually Sycamore. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna Sycamore. Just, I mean, Choice Ban, B Max. Okay, uh, I can still deny. I should be able to pull it off though. Okay, so there's my choice bed. So I can definitely one hit this guy, but man, I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get screwed over next turn. That's for sure. I just hope he doesn't pull off two assassins. Could that? Because that uh, that would be an issue. I can deny. I can crowbat still. Um, I should get my other Keldeo right here. This guy will not be good in this matchup. I could get my other Keldeo. I can get the float, I can do this, and then just Crobat or Denene. Doesn't really matter. I will Crobat. And I'm just hoping to get some like Aqua Patches and set up another dude. So I do get Aqua Patch. I will definitely use that. Um, do I need to put down another one? I will. Why not? What could I rescue? Nothing really. Do you have a Melody? So I'm, I'm going to hold on to it, but... Yeah, I will do enough to one-hit this guy, so I could deny right here, but I'm not going to. I will discard two for sure, and that is enough damage. So, let's see let's see what this Zassin going to do to me, though. This is not going to be fun. I, I, I play no weakness cards in this. Um, no weakness policy, none of that. I mean, yeah, weakness guard energy definitely wouldn't make sense, but... I mean, yeah, I couldn't do a weakness policy either, because I got to one-hit that ADP. 
Um, just do not set up out. Uh, if I got a fuel board, that'd be really nice with the with the Denene, but I could actually end. I think I actually will end because I can like rescue my V Max. Um, and then yeah, I can't end. So you're gonna Crobat. Yeah, use all your stuff right here though. So he's gonna get another Zass in. Okay, I'm pretty sure he saw Denene's though. He's not gonna. He's not gonna put it down though. Now that's interesting. All right. So yeah, that does 520 damage. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna end. Um, it, it's gonna be kind of difficult for him. I feel like he's used two metal saucers, two max elixirs, and if I end him down to like a, a bad hand, then that that'll just be great. Um. All right. So I have a gray catcher. Obviously, not gonna use it. I guess I'll do this. Um, I can I could just dive ball instead. I guess I'll save the rescue. I could I uh, should I put stuff back in my deck though? Probably not. Not yet. I will just do this. But yeah, one more hit with assassin and I will die. That is for sure. Um, yeah, but I definitely got to end. I definitely got to end. Like I don't. I mean, I I could. I uh, not because because I could uh eventually tap a. Uh, Rescue Tapu, Tapu if I need to. But I will just end right here and hope for the best, you know? Hope for the best. I'll get three cards, he gets two. Okay, so I, <laughs> I mean, like, I got a quick ball, I got a Via Suger. I, I have a good hand. Um, But should I Denene? Uh, I mean, no, it, do it doesn't matter if I Denene. Uh, like, I could try to get more Aqua Patches or something. But if he just one hits me, then it's over. So, you know? But I'll get two prize cards, so I got one to go. But I mean, yeah, he he's he's got to one hit me with his ass in. Bronze log would not do enough, so he's probably gonna crowbat here, right? Probably saved a crowbat. Yep. Okay, so he gets a new hand. I I didn't see what else he discarded right there. Did not see. But he's out of Nene's. I mean, he still got supporter left. But I wonder why I didn't put that Zassine down earlier. That's that's kind of sus. That is kind of sus. Seems like he's still got a lot of balls left. He's gonna. I mean, he can. Yeah, he can just switch him off whenever the, which isn't great. <laughs> he got two metal slashers in that hand. All right. Well, he just needs to attach another, another energy now, and then put down a Zassine. Yeah. Clefairy. Um. I mean that, yeah, that that would not kill me. That, that'd be fine. Cody, if he switches, I don't think he could. He's he's going for it. I mean, so he must not have like any more balls in his hand, like no assassins or anything like that. He still got a supporter, but I don't think he could do anything. He he probably just try to sing, hope for the best, man. I mean, because if he chooses one of my attacks, I mean that that won't do enough to kill me. Oh wait, discard two, any two energy, what the hell? I didn't see that. Um, wait, so he's got nothing. Oh wait. Oh wait, I, I, I was confused, Why? why where, where did my energy go? Oh my god, okay, well. Uh, yeah, I can just do this, I can rush in. Um, wait, would he have done that? No, he, he would have done 250, so that, that would not have killed me right there. And then I'll just Aqua Patch. And then attach the energy, and then yeah, that will that will be GG. Keldio to the rescue. Yeah, it was looking <laughs> it was looking kind of sus, man, playing against weakness. But good thing I end him, man. Good thing I end him right there. All right, going into another game. I'll go first again. Let's go. So yeah, like like th this this Ice Rider Vmax has just been setting up so easily, man. Um, you know, last game I. It, it was so easy with Keldeo. I could just, you know, make use of the Aqua Patch, you know, going in front, putting that dude back on the bench. It was so easy. Um, but, yeah, this is a game where I definitely can't... I mean, I, I could have if I get three or more, uh, more... Oh, no, no, I can't because I can't discard up to more than two energy. So, yeah, I definitely can't uh, one-hit at a turn speed max. So, this should get interesting. Um, he can't one-hit me either. So, yeah, we we will see. I'll put another one 
why not? Okay, we got VMAX versus VMAX. Don't need Keldeo right here. Um, I need my other Keldeo. That would be, that would be great. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just focus him first. I mean, I can, it's not hard for me to get the VMAX. And then I will just put, a, or should I, I'll just put the float down, why not? And then, Trainer's Mill. I don't need that, so I will just attach the bench and call it a day. Decent, decent start, I guess. I only played two floats, so um, I feel like I should add, an, add another float, but yeah. But it is good I'm going first. That is good. Um, because I could potentially one hit uh, one of his Eternus' V maxes. I mean, he's still got two, so it wouldn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I could potentially one hit. Power Accelerator. That kind of suck if you had energy in his hand. Oh, there, there's the fuel bar off the bat, man. Let's go. Let's go. Got his Crobats, of course. Yeah, it doesn't... I mean, I guess Kildred could work against Malamar, but it should be fine. Once active Pokemon is now asleep, yeah, that's, that's kind of a problem, but yeah, I just need another full and kill you, and, and I'll be good, man. This, this guy is so valuable. And it is a backup option, I guess. Maybe I should have hold. I like the reason I didn't hold on to it was like, what if he ends me or something like that? Marnie's. You know? Okay, Dark City. It's gonna chorus. Not, not, not the best chorus right here. Right there, but not completely useless. So, yeah, I definitely got sick more. I have no energy in my discard if I get more aqua patches. I play one compressor, but I assume he has an energy in his hand, though. Or, or not, okay. That's helpful. So I do get the Ice Rider. I will put on the bench, but, yeah, I pretty much just need a, need a float right now. Another energy, I, I suppose. Um, I don't really need choice, man. Um, I'll put this on Ice Rider. But yeah, I, like, I, I can't power up this guy. There's just no way. I do have a Fuel Blur. I mean, I, I, like I could Denene, which is probably what I need to do right here. I have a lot of balls for that. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just set up a, a third one, right? <laughs> third, I should just, I should check if I have another Ultra Ball, though. Uh, I mean, like, I could discard it right here, but I just want to guarantee the energy. Um, and yeah, I could just discard that. I may as well feel blur. Not really getting rid of much, though. Um, I should check out my deck. Let's see, my floats. So I don't have the other float, um, which means I can't really retreat. Um, that sucks. <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate, man. Uh, is there any way I can retreat? I don't think so. Um, but that, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that, that, that just, yeah, that just sets me back, though, because I gotta, I could, I, wait, I could, oh, no, this guy's, I could still rush in, but this guy has two retreat cost. Um, actually, what I could have done is, I, I, like, I could have aqua patched. Um, no, I, I only could have done that once. Um, yeah, then I have, like, nothing left, so. Yeah, yeah, that, that sucks. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I need, need another float. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna add that after this game, um, but I will just do that, do do that, um, do this, and I will have to um, pass, unfortunately. So, yep. So yeah, I can only discard up to two two energy, so the max is two fifty. Definitely would, would not one hit. He's gonna put the en he's, okay. So he's, he got two in his hand. I do have a few max potions, but only a few. So, yeah, if he hits me, I, I mean, I, I could actually Guzma. Um, I could Guzma. I mean, he, he could knock me out. I mean, he, he needs, like, one more Zigzagoon ping, and then, I, like, to, he needs to fill out his whole bench. Um, he, he could possibly knock me out. Which would not be great. He's got another crow up. Yeah, he probably will fill his bench, honestly. He could still support her. 
Just got a new hand. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I really want to attack right there. That that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> only only he's got another Malmar, man. Another Malmar. Okay. Wonder if I could just like Guzma, Guzma, Guzma then. Just avoid these Eternuses entirely, since I can't one in them. I can do a one turn. But I I, I had I have no other draw in my hand. Okay, so he needs like if he if he puts down a Zigzagoon, I think he can one it. Because he does 270. So if, if he put down a Zigzagoon right here, I I I'd die, man. I would die. He is not okay, so he doesn't have it. Now that's good. That is very good. But the problem is I still can't retreat. I don't play Ace Roll. Uh, do I even have another water energy? Nope. Do not have another one. I don't really want to end either. Um, so I will have to Guzma, which is actually fine. It's actually yeah, it's, it's actually fine now, because I can get another Dinene. I will set this guy, and then I can try to search for like a max potion. Oh wait, no, if I put down a Tapu, I, I can't put down anyone else. Oh man. Um, yeah, I think I just have to deny and hope I get it, honestly. Like, I, 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 I play 4 via Seekers. Yeah, it's in my discard. Wait, so I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have even Guzma to that. That's awkward. Um, so I'll just attach an energy. And then... Do this. Oh, wait, I have no more Denenes. Oh yeah, I only I only play one. Okay, well I will Crobat instead. Yep, I will get this guy in my in my. So I have two of these guys set up, but one really damaged. Very damaged. Okay, well that's good. So, yeah, I need I think I need Ace roll in this deck as well. Um, so I will Guzma right here. I have more energy as well. Um, I will just discard these guys, and then get this Via Seeker, and then I guess I'll Guzma like a Malmar. Yeah. I will take this, and I still have an end in my hand as well, which is good. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. I mean... Yeah, like he's got. Oh, he does have Dark City up, but he'd probably find a way to retreat if if I tag that guy. Um. But like, I I really need to get my float from uh from these prize cards. That's that's why I really because I need to retreat somehow. So I'm just I'm just hoping for it, dude. I am just hoping for it. All right, so so I kill him. That's good. All right, float is right here. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So I can retreat. Um, but I probably can't Guzma next turn, though. Um, he has no way of one-hitting any any of my guys right here. Probably not. But um, he, he, has, he has more for retreat, so... He actually... You know what? He could have that, um, that Dark City Stadium. Wait, is that... Or that other stadium that um, takes one less prize cards. That would be bad. But I do have another Vir Viridian Forest somewhere. Which I should definitely hold on to. Until uh, he puts that down. But um, yeah, I still got three more Venus Seekers in my deck. Which is good. Uh, but I will probably have to end right here. Hopefully he doesn't end me. Because I need this float. Do this. Oh, is he going for, is he going for uh, this play though? Is he going to have the laser? Okay, well that, that could that could one hit me. Now that could one hit me. Um, he's gonna make me asleep, which is fine. Um, that is, that's actually fine that he put energy on Almar, and uh, not this guy. So what is he gonna do? Oh my god, he's gonna get a fat chorus though. At least I'll end next turn, man. But holy crap, he's getting a fat chorus. He does not have another. Oh, but he's he's gonna get a weavow though, and then he can do whatever he wants. So he can like attack when, with whatever. So. He just needs a laser right here. Um, so, I, I mean, I could probably die. I, I'd probably die if he got the laser. 
Um, but the thing is, I'd return the kill though. Plus, I'd end him down to three. Um, so it actually wouldn't be the worst thing for me. Because that'd mean I wouldn't have to Guzma again. So I kind of hope he does that, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, it, lo it looks like he is. Alright, just, just laser me, bro. He's gotta have a- he, bro, with that hand, man, he's gotta- he's gotta have a Weavile, man. <laughs> Wait. Oh, 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 this is the sp oh, I, for I totally forgot about that. Yeah, here he did a special condition. I I'm just used to these guys lasering me, I forgot I was anything. Um, okay, well, at least he can't do that again. But, yeah, I will give him a, a end to the face right here. Which, which is good. Um, bro, I swear to God, if he field blurs again, man, like, <laughs> that would be really unfortunate. I kind of don't even want to use it, honestly. Because, like, he, uh, I mean, he hasn't yet. All right, I, I need to thin out my deck right here. Take that energy anyways. I do have a, I do have a great catcher. I do have that. Um, did I have my computer search? No. Um, man, do I touch the flow? You know what? I will. But, like, I could get stuck, though. I do have Guzma, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll touch the flow right now. I swear to God, he's gonna... And I, I should probably rescue now. And then just put tap in my hand. That would be a good idea. But I will definitely end him right here. Good night to that meaty hand he has. I, okay, so I, I have a great catcher and a via seeker. So, and he can't one hit me next turn. So, unless he ends me, I think I can win. I think I can win right here. I will discard these guys because I, I have another dude set up. And he can't do 320. He, he cannot one hit me. There's no way. Actually, I mean, how I? <laughs> he could actually try. This would be his last open, I think, Maximor. But he like he's he's got three energy. So is he going for it? He could get, he could uh, put me to sleep though. He could do that. Um, but like, how much heads would he have to hit? Uh, six. He'd have to hit. hit okay, so he's gonna Guzma kill Keldio. I mean, I mean, if he does that, I, I, okay. But he's got to. So he uses. So he can't end me now. So it's over. I can just Guzma next turn. Battle of the Goosebus, man. I swear to God. <laughs> Alright, so so it is over. Okay. Yeah, but uh, lessons from this game. I need to add in another float, probably an ace roll as well. So I'll, I'll make this change after this deck and, conti and continue on with the video. But I do have a nifty great catcher. I will do this. Plop this guy down and then another 250 damage. So that game... I completely avoid the turn this is <laughs> uh, so there is no way I could hit those guys, but you know. Great catcher, Goosebuzz, kinda saving the day. As well with that max potion on my really damaged dude. Alright, going into another game. Getting getting a lot of coin flips in my favor. Um nothing there. That's fine. Blastoise deck. Water v water matchup. Um this is kinda awkward hand. Okay, so he's playing Blissey, um, which I, I could actually do just enough damage, but the problem is I only play one Field Blower for his, probably, um, Fury Belts. He's playing Hyper Potion, okay. I mean, this is not the best, I mean, like, I could just, I, I could do any of this turn. Discard my Max Potion plus a lot of energy, which is awkward. I mean, discarding Guzman is fine. Yeah, I'm discarding a ton of stuff, man. But I kind of have to. So, yeah. Um, I just want to see my deck. I have one field blower. I could potentially donk this guy this turn or my next turn. So, I'll probably just go for that play. And then, plus, he plays Path to the Peak. So, yeah, I, I kind of have to deny right here and just put on the active. Okay, okay. I will, yeah, I'll have Radiant Forest. Okay, I'll, I'll keep the Field Blower in hand. I will do this. Discard an N, and then go for another energy. And then, that should do me good. I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to let this guy, like, he, Blissey does not do a lot of damage on the first turn. 
but if he doesn't end me or anything, I can I I can, I can one hit him um, for sure on um, this turn. Because, like I, I have everything in my hand. <laughs> I literally have everything in my hand too. Uh, but he probably will put someone on his bench. We will see. He's got three DCEs. He's probably looking for that uh for that belt right now. Who knows if he plays it? Um, who knows? Yeah, or, or Cape of Toughness, that's the same thing. That's the same thing. I don't know why I was talking about Fury Belt. So he does put down a bench Pokemon, alright. But yeah, this is my only Fuel Blower, which kind of makes me want to play another one in this deck. Kind of. Maybe like one less float, because I have three floats, and then maybe like one more Fuel Blower. Um, possibly. So there's Path of the Peak, yeah. I mean, this will be a good Fuel Blower. But if he puts down another Cape of Toughness, then I should probably do those. Um, but he could be careful. Alright, he's just going to hit me. So I will one-hit him. That is really good. That is very good. Um, and then I will end him. I mean, both of us will just be at 6 again. Do have a float. I will do that. Um, and I will just Fuel Blower. Pretty, pretty worth. I'll do that. So that's, that's one Blissey down. And then still, he has to set up and get another one. Which is good for me. I mean, like, I don't need to one-hit these guys, but... So it's obviously better if I do. I have a Caldeo, definitely won't need this guy. And I'll just uh, get set up with another... Um, dude. I'll just... Um... Uh, yeah, I don't need a tap for anything, really. Um... I could do this, just get... Another Ice Rider on the bench. And then I will max Lance. Be left with 40 HP. But that is a good hit right there. I have three Aqua Patches left. Another float, more energy. More energy. So I, I do not have a lot of my deck. I mean, I have four more in, in my deck. Four more. But yeah, let's, I mean, like, he, he's going to be playing, what, like, four Cape Toughnesses, so, I mean, there's, yeah, definitely we'll have to do that. He can research right here. Can research. But still, like, I mean, unless he does this two times in a row, he can't one-hit me. Uh, like, if he just did it once, he can't one-hit me, because, let's say he has, I mean, he's already discarded three DCEs. Which is 6 energy, that's 190. Um, so let's just say he does like 220 um, after doing it. That's not one hitting me. Um, I, he, he'd probably be close though, he puts a weakness card energy. Uh, if he put powerful energies though, he, he could be close, but... I mean actually he could be one hitting me. Um, like just barely with, with the damage he's doing this turn. So what I should do is, is just try to set my guy on the bench. Because so I still have Keldeo. I can still retreat to another fresh dude. And using a max potion on like a 100 HP isn't isn't too valuable. But um, he could like live center though. But I'm still in a decent... Okay, well he's just going to end and uh, foil all my plans. <laughs> Alright, man. Okay, this is going to be bad if he puts down a, a stadium dude. Because I've, I've got a tap on it, which, which I couldn't use. So please do not get a stadium right here. I mean, I do... Get a max potion, but yeah, if I don't get Aqua Patch, I can't attack if he puts down the stadium. So he doesn't. That is good. That is very good. Um, yeah, I I, I do want to save my my max potion, man. But he doesn't put the cape of toughness, so I can just one hit him. I can just one hit him. I'm just gonna thin down my deck, dude. Stuff I don't need. Um, I want to keep those balls. Don't need that. I've got Via Seekers right here. I I, I want to keep a lot of this stuff though. I mean, like I don't really need balls at this point in time. Yeah, I'll keep Melanie. Uh, yeah. I'm wait. Actually, I could use I could tap wound and Melanie. Um, yeah. I mean, it's kind of risky because I draw three cards, but. That actually may be the play, just just to guarantee I can get it, because I still have a few aqua patches, but 
I kind of just want to guarantee. Uh, but if he ends me, it could be really awkward. Um, yeah, I just want to use this guy with something. Um, yeah, like I, I have three aqua patches, but I could just play it safe and um, do this. Okay, and and I get a sick more, but he probably will end me next turn. So I can one hit another Blissey. Um, so this is great, man. This is great. And then, yeah, like I don't need a max potion. Obviously not. Another float. Don't really need to use because don't want to just give him a free fuel blower. And then Keldeo out and then max Lance again. I mean, the only way you can win now is, is just getting, really just adding me down and, you know, me getting unlucky with my draws. It's probably the only, the only uh, chance he has. Um, but is there anything else? Yeah, so he's going to do it again. I don't think there's... Yeah, there's no other Pokemon that can do more than 250. I mean... I mean, yeah, he, he's not going to have a lot of bench, though. Alright, so I, I did not get much out of that. I did not get much out of that. He's got nothing. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, I, I've gotten, I've gotten some, uh, some good draws this game. Honestly, dude. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, just give me an aqua patch now. There we go. All right, well, yeah. Uh, I got kind of lucky this game, dude. I am not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, just just 250 damage is is just a killer for this Plissy tech man. Just enough damage, and I I, I got I got my stuff in in a timely fashion with those stadiums, the field blowers, man. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up all the battles for this video. Overall, Ice Rider Calyrex is so is really consistent at doing 250 damage per turn. You know, discarding that energy um, just sets you up to max potion or Ace Roll next turn, heal everything up, and then just set up more of these guys. Honestly, man, um, Aqua Patch is so fast with this deck. Um, Mel Melanie as well really helps um, with this deck as well. Just for getting. Just for making sure you get two energies attached per turn, and then 250 damage is is one hitting a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not one hitting, it's not one hitting B maxes, but it, it's doing a lot of damage. And then you got 320 health. I mean, metal is is kind of killer um, against Assassin decks, but I did beat one. Um, but normally it would be uh, kind of sucky. Now, of course, we got the Keldeo Gang as well, providing that support against uh, GXs and just EXs and just um, just retreating it all the time um but yeah that's great for this video so if you guys did enjoy all the battles uh for this video make sure you guys leave a like uh subscribe to the channel that's it guys all right peace out